Greetings and salutations to all the citizens of the internet, to the redditors of the XCOM subreddit, and all the open XCOMers out there. This is Ivan Dogovich rocking the oldies with a Let's Try tutorial of Open XCOM 1.0. This is episode 2 in which we will continue our game by making some purchases and equipping our squad. Feel free to check out episodes 0 and 1 in which we set the game up and which we built our first base. Alright. Um, one thing I want to mention really quick is in the Geoscape, saving a game, because this is new. Under Options, when you go to save a game, you now have the ability to make as many save games as you want. In the first version of the game, you could only create 10 games. So this is our tutorial game here. Tutorial. Tutorial, and you can put whatever you like in here, beginning episode 2. All right. Beginning episode two. So there you've got the option to save the game. You can also load the game from there. It will tell you what are, where you saved it, whether it's in the geoscape or whether it's in the tactical battle, etc., and what time you did. So there we go. This is our current date, and below you see game time, January 1999. Okay, so that's enough about the game here. Um, I also wanted to point out that this is a new feature. It's one of the things we selected was funds on the Geoscape. And here we've got a, a clock moving, but we also can see how much money we have that we have in our base right here on the Geoscape screen, which is pretty pretty useful. The other thing we did that we, we set up in the initial configurations was we slowed down the XCOM clock. And what used to happen was if you kicked it into one minute or five minutes, time used to go by really fast. And this is now uh, controllable. So you can change between the time, between five seconds at a time, it moves forward one minute, five minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, and one day. One day moves really fast. One hour is fast. 30 minutes is pretty fast. And this is what you want to use to fast forward time between while you're waiting for things to happen. So we're going to leave it on slow right now and do some more work at our base to help prep ourselves for what we're going to do going forward. So first thing I want to do is I want to make some purchases of more tactical equipment. In our last episode, we purchased some more personnel and they will take a while to get to our base. But what we want to do now is purchase some more equipment for our soldiers. We've only got eight soldiers, but we plan on having 14 soldiers available. So currently on hand, I have two pistols, two rifles, one heavy cannon, one auto cannon, one rocket launcher, um, five grenades, five smoke grenades, five proximity grenades, zero high explosives, zero stun rods, and zero electro flares. What I need is quite a bit more than that. This is new too. It also shows me how much space I have used right now. With my one general stores, I have 50 space available and I'm using 40.8 of that. So I know I want to get some, some electro flares. I like to have, I like to have one per soldier, but I'm going to go with eight right now. I do want more grenades. Every soldier should carry at least one grenade preferably two in some instances. The reason are, is that initially your soldiers really have poor aim and the weapons available to them are underpowered. The weapons just don't do much damage to the enemy. So by getting grenades and explosives, you have the ability to put a lot more damage out there. So I'm going to get that. One of the most effective uses uh, one of the most effective delivery systems for explosives, though, is the rocket launcher. So I'm going to get another one, and I'm going to get mm, I'm going to get four more rockets. Ideally, a rocketeer should carry three rockets and maybe four. So that'll give me enough for two rocketeers. The auto cannon is a nifty device in that it's like an automatic grenade launcher. And we've got one, and we've got them with armor-piercing rounds, high-explosive, or incendiary. The armor-piercing rounds, they do more damage to the aliens than your regular rifle shots, but this is not that accurate, and it's not that great a delivery system. I really don't want that many of these, but I do want high-explosive rounds. 
And I do want incendiary rounds. I'll probably take four. That'll load me up twice. Incendiary are nice. They start fires, which can be destructive and can hurt your troops, the enemy, or civilians in the area. But during a night mission, this becomes free lighting. So that's handy. Heavy cannon, we'll hang on to it. It's like a heavier grenade launcher, like lower than the rocket launcher, but heavier than the auto cannon. We will, we don't need all this armor piercing, but we do need some high explosive. We definitely need more of the rifles, and I want a pistol for just about everybody. Now I'm going to equip a squad for, I'm going to equip my squad for 14 and at this point that probably gives me a pretty good cover. I've got 10 rifles, 10 pistols. I will probably use two rocket launchers. That's 12 guys. I will use an auto cannon for now and I will use a heavy cannon. So that will work. So this is going to be my tactical purchase. It's pushing my space used up to almost 47. So let's take a look at our base information. Now we're at 47 of 50 stores. And here's an interesting thing to check out as well. Transfers, it now shows us what we've got coming in. These are our soldiers, the named individuals. We've got 16 scientists and all the personnel are gonna take 72 hours. That's three days to get in. All of the tactical gear that we just bought will arrive in one day. So that is looking good. This shows us our short range detection how likely we are to detect our uh, detect aliens within the range and we're good here so let's go ahead and come on out to the geoscape what I want to do is get my tactical items in and then equip our squad all right we have our first UFO contact what we can see from our UFO contact is that it's a small UFO, its altitude is low, it's heading northwest, and its speed is 480. If we center on the UFO, it shows us where it is in relation to our base. We can tell that it's in our radar circle. We didn't pick it up initially because our radar is not that effective. If we click on it, we, can, we get the option to intercept it. If we click on our base, we get the option to grab an interceptor from the base. And if we click on intercept over here, we get the same option. Let's go ahead and send out our first interceptor. We click on it, click on the target UFO. And now we've got, as we zoom in, we've got this little black line. Our UFO shows up as red. Our interceptor shows up as this yellow dot. And we've also got this circle of coverage from the interceptor, which is his uh, craft radar. So we'll go ahead and fast forward it a little bit. He's going to easily catch up to this UFO. And now we get into what's our little um, tactical uh, mini air battle. You can take a look at what the UFO is by clicking here and it shows you it's this small type of uh, UFO. We've got on this aircraft we've got some short range missiles and we've got a cannon. Let's go ahead and move into a cautious attack, which brings you into your your furthest range. We could go more aggressive and bring it into a standard attack where it would get right in and use both your weapon systems. Now, we've done enough damage to the UFO that he has been, he's been shot down and crash landed. And the next thing we will want to do is launch an intercept. Uh, we will want to send our transports out here to investigate the crash site, kill all the aliens, and recover the gear. But at this point, we're going to go ahead and pause our episode, and in the next episode, we will equip our squad. We will get ready and launch our tactical mission in the next episode as well. I want to thank you for joining me for this episode 2 of Let's Try Open XCOM 1.0 Tutorial. If you like this video, please check out my XCOM Terror from the Deep series and sign up to join the force. You have been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogvich. We will see you again with the next episode of our Let's Try Open XCOM 1.0 Tutorial. Cheers!